students sharing racist videos across our area. Parents and educators are now worried about the impact incidents like these are having on our kids. And ABC 10's Monica Coleman explains how students are reacting to a video circulating there. So I just realized that there's a whole bunch of racist people and it just makes me upset that people get bullied because of their skin tone. Meet Isabella Wasser. She's in sixth grade and says she had a hard conversation with her mom about what was going on at her school after a seventh grader put a racist post on their personal Instagram during lunch. It included individual and group photos of about 20 black and mixed race students along with a picture of the school's first black principal. The post also included a banner reading, Happy Black History Month, followed by a derogatory word. Really, it's really upsetting and it's really messed up and it should, nothing like that should ever be posted on social media. Isabella's mom, Olivia Wasser, joined her in Tuesday's protest. Happy to see her daughter be a part of the change. Wasser says she is unfortunately not surprised by the racist message. Do something outrageous to you know, get attention. Unfortunately, it was a really negative way to get that attention. Um, but no, I'm not really surprised. Rallying with her students, Ms. Hurd walked us through the conversation she had with students when the hateful post came out. I mean, here I am, a middle-aged white woman, talking to students about racism. And it's a very uncomfortable place to be in. But I encourage my students to, first of all, educate themselves. And, you know, what can they do? We can, we can let people know that we see them. But where do we go from here? How do we put a stop to hate in the classroom? Questions many students and parents want answers to this morning. Ms. Hurd says it starts here. You know, it's really hard to say because a lot of this hate speech goes on very quietly. And, you know, when, so, when people are saying the teachers are doing nothing about it, you know, I don't hear it in my classroom. And so if it, if it is in my classroom, I don't hear it and it's very sneaky. This is a very sneaky thing to squash and it'll probably never be squashed. But are we making progress? I don't know, look at this, you know, this is, this is the first step to change.